first things Bobby Kennedy did was to put my mother's name in to be a federal judge mm. right after his election and uh, she thought that was great and then this question came up of who was going to be the majority leader and Bobby Kennedy thought that rather than have Zaretsky who had been the minority leader for many years become the majority leader that somebody of his choosing um, and my mother was among those who thought that Zaretsky had paid all these dues being the minority leader for so many years she also thought that it was unlikely they would retain the majority in the Senate for more than one term so Zaretsky deserved it and she voted for him and uh, that would have been I guess probably in the in early 1965 you know, right after the, the, the majority was sworn in. Um, but from, you know, nothing much happened about her nomination to be a federal judge. And she wondered about that and sort of dragged on and never heard anything. Um, and so then she, as I mentioned, was appointed to be borough president when, I guess it was Hugh and Jack died or resigned. Um, and so she becomes borough president, which she enjoyed thoroughly. That, and th that was before the one man, one vote decision. So the board of estimate, which was made up of the five borough presidents, the mayor, the president of city council, and the comptroller, really ran everything in the city. All the budgets, all the decisions, everything. And so the, and the borough president's office was huge. Um, we had a gigantic, two gigantic limousines and two round-the-clock, you know, detective drivers and it was quite grand. I thought it was quite embarrassing, frankly, at times and I remember sort of having my parents occasionally when they were going out and I was going to a party of friends sort of pick me up around the corner because I didn't want my friends to see me getting into this ridiculous car. Uh, but uh, um, one day she was at a political event, I can't remember where it was, and Bobby Kennedy was there and she said to him, uh, let me give you a ride to you know, whatever your next event is. He gets in the car, he's talking, and then she says, you know, whatever happened to my nomination to be a federal judge? To which there was no response. He didn't say a word and eventually got out of the car and said goodbye. The point being, you know, you didn't support my guy, so, you know, what the hell with you? And uh, so she figured, well, you know, life goes on, that was too bad. Uh, and then later in that year, um, one day she got a call from the White House, the president wanted to see her. She didn't know what that was about, but decided it was better to show up. So she and my father went to Washington. This was, I think, January 25th, 1966. And uh, I think she had an idea, but no one really said what the purpose of the meeting was. And so she goes in to see Lyndon Johnson, and, and he tells her that he had seen her name come across the desk for a federal judgeship and then nothing happened and that he had been curious about who she was and what was going on and and wound up investigating himself who she was and he called Martin Luther King and he called Whitney Young and he said who was Constance Baker Motley and they all said oh she's tremendous she's won all these cases for us, she'd be a great judge. And he tells her that, and he says, so I am nominating you myself to be a federal judge, as opposed to the normal process, which is to 
let the senator be the one to sort of lead the charge. And when he finishes telling her uh, this, um, he says to the secretary, uh, you get Bobby Kennedy on the phone. While she's there. While she's there. And they get him on the phone, and he's chatting, and how are you, blah, blah. And then he says, you know, I have Judge Motley here. And I thought you wanted to be the first one to congratulate her. And hands of the phone. Good. I'd like to see you anytime you're free. You come down and let's have a visit. Would you like to uh, say a word to her now? Do you have a time? Sure, that'd be good. Uh, Judge Motley, come over here and uh, just come here and I can take it right here. Take it here at the desk. Thank you, Mr. President. Hello, Mr. Senator. Oh, yeah, congratulations. Oh, thank you very much. Oh, I'm very pleased for you. Yes. You know, I guess we'll get together on the confirmation soon. Yes, that'll be fine. Well, I'm, there won't be any difficulty. So right. congratulations to you. Well, thank you very much. Right. Nice to talk to you. Yes, bye. bye. So uh, that was how she transitioned once again out of politics and into law. 